they wrote about in their chapter. The books have been amazing. We published the first one at the beginning of the year. And thank you, Lulu. We have uh, gone on to publishing a second and a third. Here's the collection for you to see really quick. But this lovely orange goddess is our latest. And what you got, you're going to find in this book is healer experts who have come together with their collective wisdom. I challenged each of them to pick just one modality to write about. And that was probably a big challenge because each of them have so many different amazing things that they teach. But I really want to throw it over to them today. So um, let me just go up here and see who's who I can see. Barbara, do you want to talk about your chapter? So I'm going to have the ladies introduce themselves, tell you what chapter they wrote and what, what it's titled, and a little bit about what they do. Uh, okay. All you, Barb. All right. Can you hear me? Am I unmuted? Yeah. Yep, I can okay. hear you. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm Barbara Bustard, and I am an artist and a teacher, and um, but my main desire is to connect people with art and their creativity for the healing that it brings, not to be, you know, a famous artist and make museum works and things like that. Uh, so many times when I've teach they're like well I can't even draw a straight line I can't do art I'm not creative and that's wrong everyone is creative and everyone can make art and receive the benefits that um, come from being creative because when you're creative when you start create even looking at art and uh, creative beautiful things like in nature releases hormones the good happy hormones so even without creating just looking going and looking at beautiful art and beautiful things is is very beneficial but if, when you go through the process of creating it's even more beneficial your brain kicks in to activate sides that you don't like both sides actually work together when you start the creative process and you open up new neural pathways connecting those sides so then you have better brain function and um, better memory and communication problem solving art just creativity is so beneficial for you physically it helps reduce pain they've done studies where people in the hospital who were given art activities required less pain medication um, and it, it takes your mind away from what like stress or pain or um, problems that you have you go to like a zen uh, state where your higher self can kick in because your body you have all the knowledge you need in there you just have to know to connect to it and when you go do when you do art and go off to do the art you're focused on what you're doing but your brain is able to relax and when it does that you can get messages that you innately know will come through you'll get these thoughts or you'll you know all of a sudden you'll say you'll realize oh gosh now I know what to do without even thinking about you know it's something you've been worrying about or trying to figure out or whatever forever because you let your brain relax and just we're doing your art and and the hormones and the neural pathways all that's kicking in all of a sudden you can get an answer to something that's been bothering you or been stressing you or that you can't figure out what to do so my chapter is chapter 10 and it's doodling i don't know if you can see it but that's okay doodling because everybody can doodle so nobody can say i can't do that i mean you probably did it in school and probably got in trouble for it <laughs> instead you know you might have had <laughs> might have had the teacher or your parents say stop doodling and pay attention but guess what you were actually paying more attention when you were doodling. 
because people that doodle while they're listening retain more of what they've heard. So, right? yes. I love that fact more than anything else that you talk about, because when you think about how we all grew up like that, and all told by teachers and parents to stop that, or, you know, don't, you need to pay attention. I love that fact, Barb. <laughs> yeah, if you're doodling in a meeting, keep on doodling. Because <laughs> you will, you will, you actually will, re you will retain more of what you hear. Because you're not really trying to, I guess it's part of the relaxation in the brain. You're like relaxed and doodling. So your brain is open and receiving and they've done studies okay. and the people that doodled retain more information. Barbara, and um, I'm, Barbara, I'm curious to know that, have to remember that if you don't, if you doodle during a meeting, when you go back and look at that doodle, does that actually help you to remember what was said? That I don't know. I didn't, that, that wasn't, specifically stated in any of the studies but it could i would imagine it could trigger you know what you were doing at the time you might come back to hearing some of it yeah. but it's just the process of doing yeah. it that somehow lets your brain retain more thanks Bob. And it's interesting comment barbara mm -hmm. i mean thinking about that if i'm taking notes while I do, <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, how will I impact that in such a way that, you know, I can, one, legibly read my notes and combine it with the doodle that, I mean, it's because it, I, I, it makes quite a, a great deal of sense to me, uh, and I can see the value, and I, right. you know, I, I, in fact, I'll, I'll practice the process. I'll practice the process. Uh, I really will. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good, I mean, good, you good. can still take notes, but you don't write everything down that's said. So you write the note you need. And then if you're still just like doodling, all of a sudden, you might catch something that, oh, I need to pay attention to that. Write it down. You might, you know. Right, right. Yeah. Um, and okay. again, you know, for stress, like I said, I, in my chapter, I say that I carry a small little like sketchbook, notepad, whatever, just a tiny little thing with me in my purse and a pen. And of course, I always have all kinds of markers and stuff. But anyway, I carry a little pen and notepad. And if I'm sitting in the doctor's office, particularly a dentist's office, because they stress me out, <laughs> if I pull out my little notepad and I just doodle while I'm waiting, I forget about the anxiety so that when it's my turn, I'm not like all hyped up because I've been sitting there worrying the whole time. So it, it, it just is, it has the same effect as creating any art you can doodle you don't need to paint a masterpiece you don't need to you know understand the principles and elements of art so you this guys um barbara also wrote a chapter in the very first book and it's called guided art therapy the clay meditation ball so barbara has some amazing projects and she actually just published her own full book i know you have it there i Barb. did thank yeah. you <laughs> um the art of healing so i'm gonna get yes. her to find that amazon link for you guys and drop it in the comments and in the meantime um i, I want to give lulu and kathleen a chance to talk about their sure. chapters thank um, you and you guys can find all of our ultimate uh guide to self-healing books at the link i just shared with you um yeah so if you if you think you're not an artist just pick up barb's book i promise <laughs> thank you <laughs> it will change your mind um lulu are you ready to tell these folks about the magic that you do yeah i am thank you laura <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm pleased to be here and barbara thank you for the information about the creativity because my my chapter also talks about creativity and you know, if we understood that our brain has all these components and the more we can ignite different parts of our brain, the more whole we become as human beings. Mm -hmm. So when we're talking about creativity, it doesn't need to look like anyone else's creativity. It just needs to tap into our own creativity. So I'm an author, an artist, and um, a quantum healing practitioner. I'm also an art of feminine presence teacher. I have a background in as a yoga teacher as well. And my chapter is chapter 18. It's called 
the personal chakra healing deck divine messages for realignment and empowerment